A lot of parents are busy helping to you know, plan graduation parties and dinners. Their students are just happy to be done with school. So what's next? It's time to talk about grads and jobs. No matter if you or your graduate is done with high school or college, there's a lot to navigate. And to help with that process, ADECO Group North America's Chief Human Resources Officer, Rich Thompson, is here. Rich, good morning. How are you? Doing well. Thank you very much for joining us. Let's start with college because that's a huge investment. So both parents and students, they want to see a return on that investment. So what are millennials' expectations? And you know, should those change? So we have about three minutes to cover a lot, so. Well, so their expectations, we actually just did a survey of the 18 to 25 mm -hmm. year olds, and uh, they ironically are pretty optimistic. They think they can find a job in the next four or five months. Uh, but what's important to them has changed over the years. The okay. things that's important to them now is the opportunity to grow, right, number one. Yep. But also to find a company that's financially stable. I think that's probably because of, you know, kind of the slow economy they've seen that their parents go through. Okay, and Rich, we have to be realistic. If that four to five month window doesn't pan out, what what should you do? What can parents do to help? Well, here's the one thing I know you don't, you shouldn't do. Okay. Is you shouldn't fall for the, I'm going to spend my time and become an expert <laughs> Xbox guy. Right? That is not going to oh, happen. Oh, come on. So it, what, slack. Yeah, I know, I know. My kids do want to do the same thing. <laughs> But it's about really understanding and trying to create your, your profile, right? Your, your employer brand or your employee brand. And how can you bring value to, you know, to being more marketable in the future? So whether you're working or not, there's still ways that you can become better skilled and better ready for a job. And for parents trying to help them, you know, one of the ways is to reach out to their network and their resources. Exactly. Can you talk about that? Yeah, so I think that if I'm a parent and I've got a person who just graduated from college, is I need to look at the people that are within my own network that are influential. Not necessarily people who have big jobs or make a lot of money necessarily, but people who have influence in the community or they work for a company that has influence. It's, it's really tapping into those networks. Okay, if your graduate doesn't have a job lined up, um, you know, should you worry? You know, how can you help? And how long is too long to wait? There's the gap year thing. I took a gap year. Well, I think that's a great question. Listen, you know what? They just graduated. They're yep. probably tired. They want to take some time. Yeah. I get that. Yeah. And you don't necessarily have to work right out of the gate, but okay. I still think that you need to do things that builds that resume, whether it's volunteering mm -hmm. or even, you know, si you know, signing up for a staffing company and doing some temp jobs. It's mm -hmm. about building soft skills and hard skills. Okay, so that brings us to talking about high schoolers. So what options do you have if you are graduating high school? Um, if your kid, you know, Look, not everyone's going to go to college. Not everyone wants to go to college. So what do you do? We have about a minute. Well, you still have to, it's, it's, it's creating and understanding, it's creating value, right? Becoming more marketable. I mean, it's obviously less serious because you're not looking for a career, but you are looking long-term. It's how am I building and gaining skills, either soft skills or hard skills. So whether you're working in retail, mm -hmm. whether you're, you know, a camp counselor, these are all things that are transferable, you know, to, to, you know, to the time you're looking for a career. And for students who are still in high school, what options do they have? Well, I, I think that, you know, you can be, like I said, you can be a camp counselor, you mm -hmm. can, you know, you can volunteer. Again, it's about not necessarily the job itself, but it's about what you gain from the job. But I will say this, one yeah. thing that's very, very important okay. is social profiles. Yeah. Social profiles are hugely important. And you have to understand that when you were trying to become an employee mm -hmm. and someone's going to try to hire you, you yeah. become an extension of that company's values. And if your values don't show up on Facebook mm -hmm. or LinkedIn or Instagram, that can become a knockout. Okay. Well, I think that's all great stuff. And there's so much more information. Now, Rich Thompson, thank you again Absolutely. very much. Um, we're going to have all of this on our website, News4Jax. These tips, um, just go there, news4jax.com.